look at our Tamaracks and give us a price on uh, how much uh, it would be to log it and then um, how much area he's going to do, how many acres. But uh, the reason I say it's a bad day to do it is it's, it's uh, there because the phone won't work for very long and neither will my hands but um, it sounds like Tamarack right now is you receives like we would get $600 per acre and we have uh, our forestry we have a map of our land a forestry map where they break down all the different types of trees we have and we have uh, 99 acres of uh, tamarack and black spruce it's, I don't know if you want it it's like a swamp I guess it's kind of like a blanket of uh, moss and stuff on the ground or I don't know what the plant is but it's like peat or something but um, so we don't want to log at all but I want to keep the trees that I can get at for our projects and uh, we also don't want to look like it's been logged from our point of view, looking out from the woods. And I also want to make runways for deer and stuff to travel on. So, but this is why we're meeting him to go over all this. And uh, the reason we're doing it now is because he needs more time. He'll just, we have to do it right away because he has to get it done during the winter. And it's already like uh, February 6th or 7th, Super Bowl today. It's Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday, so, um, yeah, that's why we have to meet today in this brutal cold, so, oh, now it's 27 below. We had to, I don't know, we've been looking at this for about two hours. So we figured out that we have two different sizes of tamaracks in areas. Um, 
and uh, one could go up to um, what was it? Well, it was either twenty-five. It was upwards of six hundred dollars an acre, and then the other smaller size areas were like four hundred. So it's probably a mixture of both, four hundred dollars an acre. So they kind of just average it out and apparently you only have to leave like five trees per acre to reseed so but uh we would want to cut some areas where there's almost like trails i would say 30 yards wide to kind of funnel the deer east and west into the property in strategic spots i can't talk because it's so cold uh by the tree stands and then also leave a buffer like right here maybe a hundred yards back so we can't see all the cuttings but yeah really cold it's about as cold as it gets yeah it's uh <laughs> close to 40 degree below zero windshield right now you can't take your mittens off for more than i, I don't know not even a minute and your hands start hurting immediately very cold so i can't even start my tractor to clear the snow I'm afraid that the uh, fuel will gel so unfortunately we're leaving this and um, hopefully the next time we come up in two weeks it'll be warmer I'll have to bring some number one f diesel fuel and s get some more additives in there well, we fed the birds. They're happy. Yeah, but the birds are fed so let's get home huh Yeah. All right, so we'll figure this out. We'll have to talk to the logger and see what we want to do. Probably all won't get cut this year. They're thinking uh, like a three-year contract, something like that. So we'll figure it out. But we've got a lot to think about. <laughs>